I did, Keith. And this is the man whose lawyer says was a victim of police brutality. But meanwhile, here at Humble City Hall, city leaders and that former police officer you mentioned don't see it that way. What Christopher Hanna's lawyer says shows police abuse by humble police officer John Cox is being classified by former Houston police officer and now lawyer Tom Nixon as an arrest tactic used during a case of noncompliance. Oh, no, he's not exactly complying with what the officer's instructions are. So when he fails to comply and he tries to take a step back to make distance, the officer has to start thinking, is this guy about to run away on me? Humble police say earlier that day in June, Hannah had called police to Lloyd's bar, where he claims he shot at people in self-defense during the altercation. But upon investigating, Hannah, who they say was intoxicated, became a suspect. Nixon says it appears the officer took Hannah to the ground so that he couldn't get away. Because it happens that fast. Someone can turn and run away from you faster than you can blink your eye. Humble City Manager Jason Stubbe agrees with Nixon that the officer did not use excessive force, releasing a statement that in part reads, quote, the city is continuing to investigate the matter. Based upon my review of the videos, it does not appear to me that Officer Cox used unnecessary force to effectuate the arrest, end quote. It doesn't even look like he punched him in the face. It, it looks like he hit him in the collarbone, which is what he was aiming for in order to shift his body weight to take him to the ground. Earlier, Hannah's lawyer said that can't possibly be true because his client was knocked out and didn't wake up until he was in police custody. They plan on filing a former complaint, and that could come as soon as Monday. Reporting live in Humble, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News.